Today we're gonna to take a deep dive into editing your audio components in your multicam projects. Now, I already made a video about the basics of multicam editing, and in that video I did talk about how to switch between your audio sources and your multicam edit, but I didn't really get into the nitty gritty of how I edit my audio components when I'm working in multicam projects. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I think are your best practices and your best workflow for editing audio in multicam projects. Hopefully. I save you some time and headaches. I've got the perfect project for this, let's go. Now here's the project we're going to be working on. And you can see that I've already created my multicam clips. Now, if you don't know how to make multicam clips or you don't know the basics of multicam editing, I highly recommend you watch the video I already made about that, which I will link to here and I'll put it down in the description box as well. Let's open up one of these clips so you can take a look at the configuration. I'm gonna close my browser and and open my angles. And you can see we have three camera angles, one's a two shot, and then these two singular shots here. And you've heard me say before that successful multicam editing really starts in the field. So in this situation, we have what I think is the right audio configuration. They're each wearing a wireless lavalier microphone and both of those microphones are connected to the same camera. And it's actually this angle here. In my opinion, in Final Cut Pro, it is easiest to edit audio on your multicam projects when all of your good audio is on one source. So if you can achieve that in the field, I highly recommend it. Now, like I said, the good audio is on this B camera here. So let's select that clip down here in our multicam timeline so we can take a look at the audio configuration. You'll see here that I have three channels of audio. And if I wanna know what's on which channel, I just have to click on that first channel and hit the space bar to hear the audio. Drink. Just, yeah, you could do both at the same just time. Just drop it in there. So clearly that is this gentleman's audio. Let's check the next one. Easy to eat and drink. Just, yeah, you could do both at the same time. Just drop it in. Okay, so clearly that's Christina's microphone. And this third channel is actually just the in-camera microphone, and I don't need that in-camera microphone at all. So at this point, inside my multicam clip, I'm gonna go ahead and disable Dialog 3. I do not need it. All right, let's go back and open our project, and I'm going to drop that multicam clip we just looked at in the timeline. Now, this is different from how I would normally edit in Final Cut Pro if I was not working on a multicam project. I usually recommend that you browse your clips in the browser, mark your ins and outs, and drop just sections of your clip into your timeline. But that's not what I recommend for multicam edits. In this situation, I recommend trimming your clips inside your your timeline and I'm gonna show you why. So from here, I'm going to close the browser because I don't need to see it. And what I'm going to do is cue up my playhead to the very beginning of this clip. And I'm going to make sure I'm selected on audio switching only. And I'm going to switch my audio to the B camera. And then I'm going to hit this icon to go to video only switching. So now what this means is that no matter which angle I switch to visually in this multicam clip, I'm always going to be taking the audio from the camera that has the good sound on it. This is why I recommend that you do your trimming in the timeline instead of the browser, so you only have to do that step once for each multicam clip. So at this point, I would go through my entire clip, switch my angles, trim out any parts I don't need, and rearrange things as I see fit. And then I would do that for all of my multicam clips until I got my whole story laid out the way I needed to. Now, while I'm trimming up my clips and switching my angles here, if you're kind of new to Final Cut Pro and you don't feel like you have a really good handle on it, you might want to check out my course, Final Cut Rockstar, available at jenjager.com. It's really interactive. I give you a whole bunch of media to download and we build a project together step by step, getting more and more complex as we go. It really is a ground up education in Final Cut Pro. Now, here's my finished timeline where I went through and dropped in all of my multicam clips and changed my angles and trimmed things up and switched things around as I needed to. But as I scrub my playhead, you'll notice in the angle viewer that my audio is always coming from the B camera. Now is the point where I'd really hone in on that audio. So what I would do is hit Command A to select all of my clips, hover over one, right click, and I'm gonna look for this option here, expand audio components. And now you can see 
underneath my video clips, I have my two channels of audio. If we look in the audio inspector, you'll see that I've got dialogue one and two enabled and dialogue three disabled. That remember is the in-camera microphone we disabled when we were working inside of our multicam clips. If I enable dialogue three, it pops up here in my timeline. I'm gonna disable that because I don't need it. And now from here, I can adjust the audio on each individual channel of my clip. I can even trim, let's say just Zach's audio, but not Christina. I can adjust the volume of each one individually. I could use the range tool and do some audio ducking if I needed to. And I could even make J and L cuts with this audio. So you could go through your entire timeline and listen in and clip by clip, make other adjustments as you saw fit. Now, in reality, I don't need to do a ton of surgical editing on these two. We have them hooked up to some nice quality lavalier microphones, and I'll link to those down below if you're curious what we use. But I don't really go in very often and trim or disable audio or duck things down unless they're kind of like doing some crosstalk and I need to clean it up. But what I do like to do is select all of the audio clips in my timeline and in the audio inspector, I like to enable voice isolation. I find that this allows me to leave everyone's microphones enabled, but I don't get a lot of like the background noise from one person talking on the other person's microphone. And again, that is because of the type of microphones that we use. So I hope this was helpful for you in editing your multicam projects. I do feel that after my many years of experience, this is the most efficient way to go about it, but this is just how I do it. If you guys have better ideas, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. In the meantime, here are some other videos I picked out. I know you guys are gonna love. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to everyone who watches all the way to the end. I'll see you guys again.